Greetings. I would like to weigh in on the recent uh, proclamation from the White House on the use of bathrooms in the local school systems in this country. I'm going to do it from a biblical perspective. And I'm titling this Antichrist, plural, Antichrist thinking. In John chapter 2, verse 18, the second part of that verse, it says, even now there are many antichrists, plural, by which we know that it is the last time. That was written around 95 AD. I'm not into trying to guess who the antichrist is, but the spirit of Antichrist, which is satanic, is the direct opposite of the fruit of the spirit. It would be like saying the difference between wrong and right. The spirit of Antichrist is in the White House. One of the things that characterizes the Antichrist is his disregard for women. That is not something that Bible teachers point to very often, if at all. That's found in Daniel chapter 11, verse 37. There are other characteristics of the spirit of Antichrist in the way a man thinks. The spirit of Antichrist in a man does not regard the gods of his fathers, nor any god. He may act like he does, but he doesn't. And how do you know that? Because that man will magnify himself. Daniel wrote, All this evil is come upon us, yet made we not our prayer before the Lord our God that we might turn from our iniquities and understand thy truth. So whether we like it or not, the believer is part of this problem. The spirit of Antichrist are directly opposed to the truth of God's word. To turn from our iniquities in relation to what the White House is advocating is to, and I'm, I'm going to quote Franklin Graham, is to defy President Obama and his administration's radical progressive agenda to promote and advance the sin of homosexuality and the LGBT agenda. Politically, the appearance of progressive thinkers and in what I'm saying I'm comparing that to satanic influence the appearance of progressive thinkers from President Obama's administration is to make it seem like they are supporting the LGBT agenda because they are citizens and have rights but the spirit of Antichrist, which is satanic, and defies what the Bible says about the LGBT agenda, is really an attack on normality of the sexes using the bathroom. Daniel desired to understand thy truth. Daniel 9, 13. He was persecuted for honoring the God of the Bible. Daniel in the lion's den happened because he respected the word of God. Understanding what is happening in America is important from a biblical point of view. But also from a social perspective, 
in regard to women. The spirit of Antichrist has no regard for women. And that's just not what men think about women. It can also be about what women think about women. The women are being attacked in the LGBT agenda when the president decrees that all public school systems must allow transgenders to use the bathroom of their choice. The progressive thinker wants others to think that they are just trying to be fair while showing no regard for women. 